working hard to stuff myself into this little box here. But what I hope to do for you today is to give you a first-person perspective of the Imperial March so that if you're a violin player, you can have a really good idea of what the left hand is doing because there are so many accidentals in this piece that if you are a, 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 a young player, a beginner, there is a lot of information here as far as extended third fingers and, and first fingers that are you're pulling back for B-flats and things like that. So I hope this helps you um, kind of help your hand and give you an idea of where to go. Let's get started. I'll go really slow, and hopefully that will be helpful for you. Here we go. So let me know if you thought that was helpful and seeing things from that perspective. Uh, thank you for learning. And if there are any other songs that you would like to learn, let me know. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.